It's Maxine here again from Northumberland Zoo, ready for the next episode of Bring the Zoo to You. Today I'm at our Canadian lynx enclosure and we're going to show you what we would normally do to enrich these guys. Now an enrichment is a very important part of all animals days. That is basically something that keeps them really busy and keeps them entertained if you like. Um, it's a bit like your Xbox or YouTube in fact. So it gives them something to do. So we're going to show you a few different things that we normally like to do with them and we'll meet our keeper Charlotte who's going to be putting them in for us. I'm Charlotte, I'm one of the keepers here at Northumberland Zoo. These are our three beautiful lynx boys. Uh, we've got Ghost, we've got Shadow, and uh, we've got Jasper. Jasper's really recognisable because his ear's a little bit kinked off to the side. And Shadow has a little dot in his eye, which is pretty hard to see, but um, it is quite a nice little difference because they do look very similar, our boys. They're all stunningly beautiful. We've got some pineapple heads and some root ginger. So they really like sensory stuff and this works really well. So I've rubbed it all over here and it's going to be really interesting. And we're going to hang these up for them, see if we can get a little bit of reaction. And then we've got a cardboard box here. As I'm sure you all know, cats love boxes and the links are just the same. Um, and this is a bit of Arctic fox bedding. So we've got a lot of animals here at the zoo and uh, these guys are super stinky. So we're thinking we're going to get a really nice reaction out of this. We're just about to let the lynx out. Um, I've got another little camera that I'm gonna set up in our box so we can try and capture these lynx enjoying their box. Enrichment is really important for our animals here at the zoo. Um, it keeps them occupied, it keeps them stimulated. Um, we use loads of different types. So things like toys, we'll use um, balls and different plastic toys for them to knock around and play with. Um, we'll also do like food-based enrichment. So we'll tie their food up or we'll hide it around the enclosure. We'll maybe scatter feed them. We can hide it inside different objects and make them work for it. Uh, it just keeps them busy for a lot longer than just popping it down in the enclosure and, and you know going away so this just keeps them much more occupied and then we also use sensory enrichment so that's smells so we'll put smells around the enclosure things like perfume uh, different herbs and spices um, we can even get lemons and limes and things like that and just rub them around on the branches it just keeps them really busy and this is just another form of enrichment we can use to, to yeah basically keep them happy and keep them busy
I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Bring the Zoo to You. I can't thank you enough for the amount of subscribers and comments that we've had so far. Please keep them coming and if you could subscribe to our channel that'd be amazing because basically that will help us support the zoo during this time. We can't wait to open our doors again and let you all in because we've been working on some really exciting stuff while we've been closed. Um, I'll bring you some more updates in the coming weeks. Um, but for now, if you've got any comments or suggestions then please don't hesitate to get in touch. I will get back to you and uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!